I actually might be doing shield bow this game, I think, with Ingenious, though, because they don't have an AD champ that can get Serpents reliably, and they're going to have a lot of bursts and things, so I actually think I'll do a shield bow build against them just for the hell of it. I think that's the plan. And then, let's see, shield bow, obviously Wits, considering they have these four who do magic damage, and then, hmm, maybe... Maybe I could do a Rage Blade build, but I don't know. It's just doing the Rage Blade build against Teemo just doesn't sound like a good idea because Teemo has the obvious uh, the damage like, or the blind, which makes it so I can't do damage. So not 100% sure. I don't know if Evelyn will try to cheese me at level 2. She might because I don't have Smite. This could go bad, but we're going to see. Ingenious Hunter affects any item cooldown, whether it's active or passive. If it's an item and it has a cooldown, it's get, it gets affected. Let's do this. Evelyn's ganking bot. Karma's probably dead. Zaya, please walk away. She, she waited too long to flash there. Yeah. That's unfortunate. I got a double there, which is actually good for me, though. Could I kill Owie if I wanted to? Probably not, right? Am I gonna try? Probably. I just need her to see. I need to see if she's gonna push or not. If she pushes, I can probably kill her, but if she doesn't, then no. Oh, she got my soul. There's no shot I kill. Yeah, there's no shot. That sucks. I was trying to kill her before she got my soul. I could have flashed the soul grab, but I didn't want to waste my flash for no reason there. I've got enough for Noon Quiver on my back either way. That's very good. I'm not going for that mark because I think Evelyn's there and I also don't know where Sedge went and Sedge would kill me very, very quickly. So I'd rather not go take that risk right now. I've already got one scuttle and I'm already in a good spot. There's no point in inting for it. I kind of want to try to gank this dude. I don't know if I can kill him though. This warded? Not warded. The wave's in a bad spot. Everyone should come over here though and try to gank in a sec. Yep. Jesus, her damage though, dude. Alright, we got our flash though. That's good. Nope. There we go. And it affects, yeah, yes, GA has a lower cooldown too. You get like, it's something like, I think 30 something percent uh, overall item CDR, which is actually a really big thing, even though people pretend like it's not. And taking away 30% of GA's five minute long cooldown is actually a really, really nice thing to do. I, I think it's like 30, what was it? 35% or 34% or something when you fully stacked in Genius. That's really nice to uh to do. Never okay. Well. Now. Oh, 
Okay, we got that. The only true death is to never live. I don't have this warden. Alright, that works for me. Nice little shutdowns and well, not shutdowns, but kills. That's good. That's good. I really want to go for this Drake, but I want to go gank mid first because I want to try to help Echo with the annoying asshole Owie. <laughs> He waited way too long to try to pull that soul. Why did I walk out of that? I just gave her free tentacles for no reason. That's kind of dumb of me. Oops, I didn't use my brain there. Die. Not a big deal. That should be six, so they got to be careful or she should be close to it. Timo wasted his blind on Karma there, so he dies instantly for that. Alright, I'm just gonna head back. I'm not gonna take the risk. Oh, I'm so close to getting this. Uh, I'm gonna wait 25 gold after selling the potion for that. What I, what's pre uh, preseason in league is the time when the season ends and they add more game changing changes to the game aka they're like they're adding two new dragons and a bunch of items and things so preseason starts in two weeks and it goes normally until about the end of january or middle of january sometimes so it's pretty much a two-month period where riot takes their vacations and adds a bunch of really annoying things to the game a lot of the time makes weird changes and rank means nothing and then once the season starts in january your ranks semi reset not a hard reset it's more of a soft reset but your ranks kind of reset that's what preseason is there's not rank no there is ranked ranked is most definitely still a thing it just doesn't mean much all it does is really affect your placements for your next season ranked is still a thing that is not true whatsoever there's a name there. It does affect where you get placed next season, though, so rank still makes a difference to norms. Like, there's still a reason necessarily to play ranked. It's just you won't get a reward or anything. Ranked is still a thing that you would, it theoretically should grind for if you care about it. Which is still a thing. <laughs> Alright, so I'm very snowballed right now, if obviously, which is very good for me. Aatrox is doing good too, playing weak side of the map right now, so that's very good for us. Now all that matters is essentially I keep snowballing like I am, and we keep going. Alright, my shield bow is pretty much already off cooldown too, that's dope. Can I maybe find Evelyn doing this? No. Okay, they saw me, I think. Uh, maybe not. I thought the Alawi saw me because she turned around there for a sec, but nope. Oh, hello, Evelyn. Bye, Evelyn. Okay, that works out nicely. That's my fourth ingenious stack. An enemy has been slain. I gotcha, buddy. If you need help, I'm here. Alrighty, we're in a really good spot. I can go take our blue, too. Never a promise. 
I don't know if she has ult up because she didn't use it. She nearly one shot me because she has alternator, which kind of sucks for me. But I mean, that's kind of the part of playing against really annoying AP assassins is they kind of just one shot you for existing. But not a good spot either way. Oh, oh, there's a ward. I really want to go spend my gold, but if I go spend my gold, there's a decent chance Alawi gets the first blood turret. Damn. I don't think that's enough. Oh, it was enough. Nice. Okay. And yeah, you all click it if you're trying to ping your gold or anything like that. An enemy has been slain. <laughs> Let's see, what are the chances she comes over this way? Guess none. Alright, we reset then. Alright, so I'm gonna grab these because they have four AP champs along with also grabbing one of these. Make sure that she really can't do much damage to me, if any at all. And that helps a good amount. <laughs> Let's charge it up. They can see the mark as soon as you put the mark on them. Oh, she got the herald. Interesting. Did she go to my right? No, she's going fully around. Turret plating will fall soon. There are so many ways to die. Hmm. I wanted to kill her, but she actually went fully around. Wow. Oh, they're on each other. If they weren't right on top of each other, I'd go for the kill. But with them being literally touching each other, I would die instantly. Because I'd get Teemo blinded, then stunned. As much as I want to go for that play, it's just not worth. I didn't get an assist, so I mean, kind of pointless for me being here, but you know what? It's alright. They died, they died. We do lose first blood turret in mid, but I still get Drake at least, so it is what it is. Alright, did Aatrox get first blood? Never mind, Aatrox got first blood turret. Ignore me, I'm dumb. I wasn't paying attention to that. I didn't realize he got it. I thought he was like pathing for it. Oh, but there's a scuttle there and that's a lot of XP I must get. So far we're doing good though. Everybody's winning their lane essentially and their bot lane, which try to pick a really cheesy bot lane is getting destroyed too. Because the, their bot lane, it makes sense in terms of like it bullies a, like auto attackers really heavily and Heimer's not a bad bot laner in general. But they got destroyed really hard because they the Teemo keeps messing up the plays for them essentially and he keeps blinding the Karma and things instead of the Zaya. So they're just taking a bunch of damage for free. And he's letting Zaya just get free damage off the whole time. Wow, she never counter jungled me. I left all of my camps up for so long. Wow, that's really surprising. I really don't understand that. Hmm, I was here. I'm gonna get one shot. Yep, I'm still probably dead. Maybe not, though. Hmm, 
Mm, yeah, I'm still probably dead. She's faster. Oh, wait, no, she turned around. Why did you turn around, dude? Whew. I don't know why she turned around. All right, I'm gonna go get my wits and then we will go back out after our wits. Um, maybe I will do the rage wit for fun. You miss wits healing? I miss season 10 wits too. I miss all the season 10 items. I don't like season 11 items at all. I very much dislike the whole item rework i think it was just a t like i don't think there was anything that good that came from it it just feels like a failure of a like thing entirely in my opinion but it is what it is you can't control it riot's not gonna go back on it ow i think i have shield though oh we actually aced them there nice oh i failed to go over the wall that was like 3v5 too when we aced them Okay. Take those. Who's next? I think Mythicals are terrible. Nothing about them is cool. They're just stat sticks, in my opinion. They don't do anything good for the game. I, well, obviously, that's just my opinion on it, but in my opinion, Mythics are a terrible system that shouldn't be a thing. All they are is stat sticks, and if your champ can't abuse the current meta stat stick, then it's at a disadvantage and just doesn't feel good at all. That didn't improve on anything in the old system. At least in the old system, I could build whatever I want and it wasn't limited to one stat stick, essentially. I just, I don't think it did anything positive for the game, personally. Used to, I mean, Ghostblade didn't, hasn't gave attack speed since Season 6. That That's not because of the item rework. That's just literally, it's been, you know, six years at this point since it used to give attack speed. Oh, dang. I wasn't able to get away from them in time. I tried. Um. Hmm. She building tanky. Okay, yeah, we'll go for LDR next. Are there any new uh, that help against shields? They're adding a new item that's quote unquote an anti shield item for AP champs, but it's not really an anti shield item. All it does is give you 20 pen if they were recently shielded, which doesn't really do anything against shields because that just means you get more pen, but the shield's still there, so you still have to burst them through the shield, which doesn't do anything at all beneficial. So, not really. Realistically, there shouldn't even be an anti-shield mage item and there shouldn't be an anti-shield assassin item. Realistically, all there fucking needs to be is they need to nerf the shield items, because shield items are too OP. Xerox is way too OP. Shield bow is way too stupid of a design. Like, it's just dumb. The lifeline items are just dumb. They just don't need to be a thing. Like, Eclipse doesn't need the shield. Tanks don't need a shield item, and now they're getting a second shield item. Like, they're adding way too much shielding to the game for no reason whatsoever other than just add shielding. Why do you want me dead so bad, Owie? Can you, can you calm down? Dude, calm down. Dude, chill. <laughs> oh my. Oh no, okay. I, I'm not gonna die to it. I thought I was gonna die to this shroom. Luckily, it didn't kill me. Your 
Mm -hmm. Grab this, go for this. Boom, there we go. Pretty much GG. I don't see a way for them to come back. Like, anything. We're just kind of waiting to end at this point. Everybody on my team did really well this game. Malawi's trying to make a play, but I don't think she's going to get anything done there. She got Zaya. Well, we should die. I'm not even looking because she should die, but I maybe I should be looking because she's still alive. There you go. Okay. I trolled myself and didn't kill that camp, but oh well, the game's over, so not like it matters. Hi, Maya. Hi, kitty cat. I've got a cat in front of me. I'm just gonna go for the end, I think. Hey, Bobby. Hey. Alright. That was not a bad game. Decent shield bow game overall. The ingenious hunter with shield bow feels really good to, like in the games where they don't get serpents though because you get the um you get the thir like 30 seconds off of the cooldown essentially and it feels pretty good overall in my opinion not bad though we did the second most damage in the game first on my team not bad not bad build wise worked out well so yeah we take those we take those Alrighty. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 